These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for October the 25th, 2020. It's the Halloween edition. This week's blog post is on the sculpture of Mother Goose in Central Park. It dates to 1938. I discuss the sculpture itself as well as the stories and the fairy tales behind it. Second recommendation, a Mother Goose poem that begins, Baby, baby, naughty baby. I turned this poem up years ago while I was researching Central Park in the early years. It's included in this week's blog post, but in case you don't have time to read the post before Halloween, I'm giving it a separate recommendation. In a far less kind, less gentle era, this was included in Mother Goose Collections. It's a fabulous poem to recite aloud to an audience with appropriate pauses and gestures. Here we go. I'm going to try to sound cranky. Baby, baby, naughty baby, hush, you squalling thing, I say. Peace this moment, peace. Or maybe Bonaparte will pass this way. Baby, baby, he's a giant, tall and black as Rouen's steeple. And he breakfasts, dines, rely on it every day on naughty people. Baby, baby, if he hears you as he gallops past the house, limb from limb at once he'll tear you, just as pussy tears a mouse. And he'll beat you, beat you, beat you, and he'll beat you into pap, and he'll eat you, eat you, eat you, every morsel, snap, snap, snap. All right. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Third recommendation, Jean-Baptiste Camille Corot's Panoramic View of Rouen. This is a painting in the Wadsworth Athenaeum, dating to around 1829 to 1833. To go with the baby, baby, naughty baby poem, I looked for a painting of Rouen. The most famous paintings of Rouen Cathedral are Monet's 31 canvases of the facade at different times of day, but none of them shows the tall, dark steeple. The view of the town that I'm showing you was painted only 15 years or so after Napoleon's defeat by Corot, 1796 to 1875, who began his career as a neoclassical painter using bright colors and sharp contrasts of light and shade, as you see in the Bridget Norney down there. By the mid-1850s, though, Corot had begun painting a twilight world where details blur into silvery brown darkness. That's this painting. The small view of Rouen is a transitional piece. It has some sharp edges still, but the colors are the ones that he uses in later works. Corot taught numerous students his later style. It wasn't all that difficult to imitate. Sometimes he even signed their works. Forgers soon got in on the act. One early biographer said that Corot painted 3,000 paintings, of which 10,000 were in the U.S. On the progression of French art from Rococo and Neoclassicism through Impressionism and Pointillism, see my book Seismic Shifts in Subject and Style. The fourth recommendation this week is a painting from the Wadsworth Athenaeum, and it has many, many paintings, so you're not going to guess which one it is. DianeDrainTWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, Central Park, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on your screen, or email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on dianedrantywriter.com. Thanks as always for listening.